Self-Study Math Book 13 Basics of Addition 1 2 digits plus 1 digit Level 2 Let's start learning As the grade goes up, are you worried about your child's math level? Do it with self-study math. The developer of this educational program has coached elementary and secondary students in the field for over 20 years. And he has the experience of teaching teachers how to enhance the learning effect of students. In addition, he participated in a new learning textbook development project of a company specializing in education that provides educational services to students around the world from all over the world. Self-study math a self-directed learning program specializing in elementary mathematics, developed by these experts, helps to strengthen your basic skills and enrich your application skills. The first step forward to improve your math levels. Whistle education is with you. Self-study math is a self-directed arithmetic calculation learning program that induces complete learning through a systematic four-step program textbook composition of introduction, basic learning, intensive learning, and self-directed learning. In this course, you will learn to calculate two digits plus one digit horizontally and complete the mental arithmetic of addition. First, you will discover patterns through the process of solving a problem that arranges two digits plus one digit without carryover, and two digits plus one digit with carryover in a unique way of self-study math. The next course is two digits plus one digit intensive learning to build confidence. In particular, in this course, Two digits plus one digit whose sum is less than 100 are expanded through pattern learning to make learning interesting. Finally, through the process of creating and solving problems by yourself, you will develop problem solving skills and complete complete learning. This textbook is designed to naturally discover rules and principles in the process of solving problems without learning the principles in advance. If you proceed with the method suggested by self-study math, you will naturally discover the rules in the process of solving problems without anyone else helping you. However, you may not find the rules if you proceed the way you did it. In order to maximize the learning effect, we will inform you of the precautions that must be observed as follows, so please remember it before proceeding with the problem solving. First, don't try to solve the first problem right away as soon as you start solving it. Second, proceed with the learning method suggested by self-study math. Third, if you do not finish solving the one-page problem within 30 seconds, do not proceed to the next step. The steps to solve the problem suggested by self-study math are as follows. First, before you start solving problems, you must first look at how the whole problem is structured. Second, look for what rules, patterns, are hiding. Third, once you have found a rule, apply it and start solving the problem. Fourth, if you have completed the problem solving without wrong answers within the given time, you may proceed to the next step. However, if you have not finished solving the problem within the given time, or if you have completed solving the problem within the given time but there are many incorrect answers, do not proceed to the next step. Try again until you can solve the problem within the given time. Hope you have good results. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page.
Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page.
Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page.
Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page.
Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Did you solve the problems well? Did you ever look at the left and right problem arrangement before solving the problem? If you had first looked at the left and right problem arrangement before solving the problem, you could have found a rule. And if the problem was solved using the rules found in this way, the time required to solve the problem would have been much shorter, and it would have been possible to solve it accurately, right? In the future, Make it a habit to look at the entire problem composition before solving problems one by one. It will surely help a lot. Then shall we solve another problem? Now shall we solve the problem again? Solve the problem until the next page appears. In the process of solving problems, you will probably become familiar with which two-digit and one-digit numbers make 20. If you had a clear idea of the tens complement concept beforehand, it would probably be too easy. But if not, don't worry. You can take this opportunity to make the tens complement your own. Now then shall we start? Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page.
Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Did you solve the problem well? Did you ever look at the left and right problem arrangement before solving the problem? If you had first looked at the left and right problem arrangement before solving the problem, you could have found a rule. And if the problem was solved using the rules found in this way, the time required to solve the problem would have been much shorter, and it would have been possible to solve it accurately, right? In the future, Make it a habit to look at the entire problem composition before solving problems one by one. It will surely help a lot. Then shall we solve another problem? From now on, problem solving begins again. Solve the problem until the next page appears. 
for reference. If you are solving problems at the current speed, but there is no problem, it can be considered that the mental arithmetic power of addition has been formed. However, if the next page appears before solving the problem, please try a little more. You can find some rules during the problem solving process. Be sure to look for those rules. What kind of rules are there? Now then shall we start? Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page.
Did you solve the problem well? Did you ever look at the left and right problem arrangement before solving the problem? If you had first looked at the left and right problem arrangement before solving the problem, you could have found a rule. And if the problem was solved using the rules found in this way, the time required to solve the problem would have been much shorter, and it would have been possible to solve it accurately, right? Please note that some problems are arranged as part of the problems that do not apply to the rule. In the future, make it a habit to look at the entire problem composition before solving problems one by one. It will surely help a lot in the future. Then shall we solve another problem? From now on, problem solving begins again. Solve the problem until the next page appears. For reference, if you are solving problems at the current speed, but there is no problem, it can be considered that the mental arithmetic power of addition has been formed. However, if the next page appears before solving the problem, please try a little more. You can find some rules during the problem solving process. Be sure to look for those rules. What kind of rules are there? Now then shall we start? Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page.
Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Did you solve the problem well? Did you ever look at the left and right problem arrangement before solving the problem? If you had looked at the left and right problem arrays before solving the problem, you could have found a rule in the vertical problem. And if the problem was solved using the rules found in this way, the time required to solve the problem would have been much shorter, and it would have been possible to solve it accurately, right? In the future, make it a habit to look at the entire problem composition before solving problems one by one. It will surely help a lot in the future. Then shall we solve another problem? Now, let's do our best to solve the remaining problems. Solve the problem until the next page appears. For reference, if there is no problem with solving the problem at the current speed, basically, it can be said that the mental arithmetic power of addition was formed. However, if the next page appears before solving the problem, please try a little more. You can find some rules during the problem solving process. Be sure to look for those rules. What kind of rules are there? Now then shall we start? Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page.
Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page.
Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Did you solve the problem well? Did you ever look at the left and right problem arrangement before solving the problem? If you had first looked at the left and right problem arrangement before solving the problem, you could have found a rule. And if the problem was solved using the rules found in this way, the time required to solve the problem would have been much shorter, and it would have been possible to solve it accurately, right? In the future, Make it a habit to look at the entire problem composition before solving problems one by one. It will surely help a lot in the future. Then shall we solve another problem? Now, let's do our best to solve the remaining problems. Solve the problem until the next page appears.
for reference. If there is no problem with solving the problem at the current speed. Basically, it can be said that the mental arithmetic power of addition was formed. However, if the next page appears before solving the problem, please try a little more. You can find some rules during the problem solving process. Be sure to look for those rules. What kind of rules are there? Now then shall we start? Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page.
Did you solve the problem well? Did you ever look at the left and right problem arrangement before solving the problem? If you had first looked at the left and right problem arrangement before solving the problem, you could have found that all problems are carry over. And if the problem was solved using the rules found in this way, the time required to solve the problem would have been much shorter, and it would have been possible to solve it accurately, right? In the future, make it a habit to look at the entire problem composition before solving problems one by one. It will surely help a lot in the future. From now on, the problem of self-directed learning begins. Fill in the numbers in the given blank to create a problem and solve it. You can create a problem based on what you learned earlier. For reference, if you collect and organize the problems you are making, you can complete your own problem book that has only one in the world. Isn't it cool? Do not think that you create a problem by simply filling in the numbers in the given blank, but try to make it while thinking about what result will be produced, if you put a number in the given blank. Finally, if you use the given problem frame well, you can create any problem. In addition, you can even create creative problems to discover certain rules. Shall we create your own creative problem? Now then shall we start? It is self-directed learning time. The procedure is as follows. First, create a problem using the given problem frame within one minute. Second, pause the video and solve the created problem. Third, when the problem solving is finished, it is checked whether there were any errors in the problem creating process or the problem solving process. Fourth, correct errors that occurred during the process of creating or solving. Fifth, after correcting the error, it moves on to the next step. Now then shall we start? From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. 
So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start.
from now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start.
From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for one minute and solve it. So let's start. All problem solving is over. Thank you very much. Check again to see if this course work has been done properly. If you have solved all the problems within the time given, move on to the next step. If not, you can learn again. If you feel that you are still lacking a lot, start over from the beginning. If you haven't found the rules, take a full look again. For reference, if you find the rules hidden here, learning will be really easy in the future. Finally, share your own self-directed learning problems with other friends. And you will be able to help each other by comparing them with your own problems. Unauthorized premise, reproduction, or printing of this textbook is prohibited. Although it is possible to use it for personal purposes, please use it after obtaining permission from the copyright holder for commercial use for profit. The copyright of this textbook belongs to the individual who is the representative of Whistle Education. So if you wish to use this textbook for commercial purposes, please make sure to leave your contact information through email in advance and obtain permission from the copyright holder. After receiving the license, you can use it according to the contents and procedures of the permission received from the copyright holder. Thank you. Did you have a great time? When you feel that learning math operations is difficult, immediately find out self-study math. Good end subscriptions are always welcome. Please press it right now. Thank you.